What's up gamers, welcome back. This is The Helpful Gamer. Today we're gonna be showing you how to unlock or how to get the pearl ingredient in the brand new game called Tribal Labs, which is kind of like a wacky wizard's clone. So let's get right to it. The first thing you're gonna need to complete this quest is to put about seven ants. I would suggest using exactly seven ants in the cauldron. What this is gonna do is shrink you down because in order to access this quest, um, you need to be super small in order to get through the waterfall. Next, we're going to make a couple fast walk potions and stack those up. We'll probably do, I don't know, five, six, seven. Just make sure that uh, you put a bunch of fast walk potions in there together. This will help you uh, walk around and get to the waterfall quest location faster. And once you consume both of those potions, we will make our way over here towards the waterfall. You can't miss it. Uh, just a giant waterfall um, towards the back of the map. If you zoom out a little bit, you should definitely be able to see it from wherever you are. But let's make our way to the waterfall and through the water here. And once we get through the waterfall, you will see a small little entrance opening. We'll run through there. And at the end, we will see this fish in like a pond. So I've already started this quest, so I don't have the dialogue. But go ahead and talk to him. Um, accept the quest. And then when you accept the quest, you can run over here. And you see that there is this gnome guy on the other side of lava that we have to rescue. So if you fall in the lava, it will reset you on the other side of the obby. So make sure you get a good running start with the speed potion, or you can use like a flying potion or a jumping potion, but I suggest just jumping over it with the speed potion. So uh, the gnome guy will need you to free him, and we can't pick that key up unless we're invisible. So what we need to do is go back to our cauldron and create an invisible potion by using the magic dust and the worm together. And we'll run back to the waterfall. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drink this invisible potion, which will now allow us to pick the key up off of the toilet without the fish yelling at us. So now let's go back to the gnome guy and jump over the obby. And after we jump over this obby uh, and get in front of the cage or the prison that he's locked in, um, it will unlock the prison door and he will disappear and uh, teleport back to home or wherever it is that he came from. So go ahead and unlock that door. Uh, let the gnome out he'll say a couple words and then he will poof away so now what you need to do is go back and talk to the fish again um just you know make sure you jump over the obby and head back and talk to the fish and he will say something about being friends um go ahead and hit become friends although i did hear that if you hit uh locking friends away he'll just give you the ingredients so i didn't know that at the time so he goes and locks you in here again if you select that option no big deal uh, just exit the cave, go back across the obby, and talk to him for a final time. Um, I'm pretty sure you can skip this step if you just hit locking away friends is bad, but I was not aware of that at the time. Go ahead and talk to him again, though, and he will say, oh, you escaped. Hit next, and he'll just let you go, and he will give you uh, the pearl ingredient, and you'll also get an achievement for beating the pearl quest. So now you have the pearl ingredient on your table. You can teleport back to your hut. You'll see that you now have the pearl ingredient on the second page. And you can now use it to create other potions. So that's it. Just a quick guide on how to complete the Pearl Quest in Tribal Labs. Make sure you check back for more Tribal Labs videos.